So, as you can see, hopefully, I have my uh, spreadsheet up that I'm going to use. And like I said, I got the name of the sheet seeds. So I got a, you know quite a, a spreadsheet going here up to the different types of sheets for the profiles and double profiles and so on. And so this is kind of how I start off with. And then I go into, I'm doing the plan. I'm going to come over here and get the sheet seed name. And I'm going to copy it from up top here. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that name. And that's what I'll be using for that particular one. So go in here. Okay, so I'm in the DGN library. Let me show you what I have kind of set up in, in this. And we'll go into our models tab here. So, okay, so I, I'm going to have my default and there's a default 3D in here. I'm not really using those for my sheet seeds, but I have created other sheet seeds kind of from those. And so I've used like the default and created my plan ANSI D, in this case, design model that I'm going to set up my uh, name boundary in. And so in this particular case, I have a an alignment. And so you can see the alignment in here that I've put in here. I just go like 5,000 feet. Doesn't have a feature or anything like that assigned to it. And it's just something that we're going to hang our sheet seed or our name boundary off of for our sheet seed. And so basically the process, if you've gone through the process of creating your sheets from sheet seeds, then you'll be familiar with most of this process because uh, we'll go in and Rather than selecting a drawing seed, we're going to leave that and we're going to come in and set our scale. And this is where I kind of typically just copy my name into. You need to pick on the alignment. I'll set the beginning to zero. And then the uh, the stop location, I use the, the dimension from my uh, spreadsheet. And so that is going to be. 560 feet. The length of my sheet is also going to be 560 feet. And in this case, from the spreadsheet, I'm going at 160 foot left, 160 foot right. Overlap is uh, another thing you kind of got to think about whether you want overlap on your sheets or if you want a situation where you want match lines, then your overlap would be zero. And then the boundary cords. So this is just a number of points that you can put in that boundary element of the name boundary. I don't like to put a whole bunch of them in there, but I do want one in there. So I have basically have one cord going all the way across. And then you can always come in and insert points into your name boundary and uh, to go, you know, little configure your name boundaries a little bit better. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and left click to accept that left click again, left click again. And then we'll get our second uh, dialog box here. So we're in plan. So in this case, one thing I forgot to do is change the name of the group. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it now, but since I was kind of talking you can, and you kind of see that. So, and then so for the discipline, there's no discipline in here right now. I just call it civil. Purpose is plan. And so then I'm going to come in here. Uh, just rename my drawing models. I'm going to set my scale. I'm going to set my annotation group for the plan. In this case, it's a plan annotation. That's going to draw my match lines and put in my north arrow for me. So I'll set up in that plan annotation group. I'll go ahead. I'm just going to take that out, set my model name, the uh, name boundary down here. Uh, you can either leave it or set it in there full size for the sheet for the annotation. And that should pretty much do that. We'll go ahead and create our sheet. First thing I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and pull that section marker out there. And then I'm going to reference in my title block. 
Uh, you can reference it in. So that's another kind of decision you need to make. Do you want to reference in your title block or do you want to just put a cell in your sheet seed? So you're uh, able to go in and do that. So I'm going to pick on the, this one particular has different models, mostly with the kind of has the borders defined in it. And so let me go ahead and fit that. So there's my title block. Uh, the next thing that kind of gets me is this uh, section marker for the reference title block. So we want to go ahead and delete that and just say, no, I don't want to get rid of the uh, title block there. So, so now we're kind of down to our sheet seeds. So now we need to go to our references, select, and we're going to move our, you can see there's the kind of the boundary for our sheet. And we're going to go ahead and snap it to the boundary that's in our title block. And so we've defined that. And then we want to, when you pick on the section marker here, you'll see we got these, uh, got to redefine those, set them to the size of the, uh, Sheet seed there. Okay, we're pretty much on our way. We're going to turn our level off on our shape. That one. Okay, all right. So there's pretty much most of our sheet seed there. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our drawing model for our sheet seed. And if I go into our references, I'm going to pick on our, let me just do a right click on it. I'm going to go to the presentation in the drawing model. I'm going to turn off the use flags in here, make sure that the volume only is set. And then I'm going to go to settings. And this is new in the 2020 R1 or 10.10 .10, to go into there and set your reference settings to settings from design model. And so what that means is our drawing model and our sheet model will all be kind of linked to the design model. And so whatever levels and modifications to display that you set in the design model will also be reflected through to our drawing model and then to our sheet model as well. So let me go back into our sheet. So there's our sheet. Once again, go to our reference dialog and go into our presentation. I am gonna turn the flags on in here and turn on things that I might want to show up in my sheet. Line weights might want patterns. You do not want constructions turned on. You don't want those showing up in your final sheet. And so I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. And then I typically will go into the settings and then kind of set what you want to those to be as well. If you want the uh, you know level where overrides on, you can see that it will go ahead and change that uh, sheet as well. So I'm going to go ahead and fit. And typically we go through a process of, you know, compressing the file, getting rid of the work set that's uh, assigned to the file and, and things like that when we get done with our sheet seeds. So we can kind of talk about some of that stuff in the end. So, all right. So there's our plan. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.